The report also highlights a number of serious human rights violations that are reportedly continuing to occur in Sri Lanka, including the harassment or surveillance of human rights defenders and victims of violations, police abuse and excessive use of force, as well as the use of torture. The Human Rights Commission of Sri Lanka has stated that the complaints it receives indicate, and I quote, the routine use of torture by the police throughout the country as a means of interrogation and investigation. The report notes that the prevailing culture of impunity for perpetrating torture has undoubtedly contributed to the situation. The High Commissioner urged the government and all the people of Sri Lanka to ensure that this historic opportunity for truly fundamental change should not be squandered. He urges the government and people of Sri Lanka to prioritize justice alongside reconciliation to ensure that the horrors of the past are firmly dealt with, never to recur. The High Commissioner is calling on authorities at all levels, from the head of state to the military, police, intelligence and local level leaders, to publicly issue unequivocal instructions to all branches of the military, intelligence and police forces that torture, sexual violence and other human rights violations are prohibited and will be punished. These violations need to be promptly investigated without fail, and this is essential to regain and to retain the trust of all Sri Lankans in the authority 